but a slept on song and video was Missy Elliott hit him with the heat. That video, I don't know if you remember, it was like all dark. It was like they had like dark suits. They had um, like black marble um, horses and figures. And Missy was flying through the air and the umbrella dancing. Like it was, it was so Bro, dark. Bro, like, yo, I, I, I know I seen Hit Him With The Heat. I just can't even think about it right now. Like visually, I can't even think about it. Like I know most of Missy's fucking videos, man, but I can't even think of him to the heat. It's like I'm getting like little pieces of it. When you get a chance, watch it and you, you remember okay, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a dope, dope video. And it kind of reminds me of this cover. Because it's like, it's like the way it is, like the visuals of it. It's like that. Yeah, hey, bro. Hey. <laughs> hey, yo, you perceptive, bro. Because that's exactly. It's, that's Yes, that is, is is reminiscent of Missy's cover, bro. That that, <laughs> that was That's very what it was influenced by, man. Yeah. Um damn man like yo i never wanted to say that like yo I, I never wanted to put that out there i was just like yo i'm just gonna leave it out there i'm never gonna say what it is the inspiration for because that's probably one of my my best pieces that i've ever done i wanted to ask you about it too because i remember you had said that like before you inked it you was like i obsessed so much over this cover and i wanted to ask you not when because this that was before you inked it and i know sometimes artists you guys you know artists are harder on themselves now that mm-hmm. the world has had it, it's been out. At, were you satisfied with that, with what you did with this cover? Oh, bro, yo, that <laughs> yes, I was very, I was very, very sad. Like I that cover, it took me a long time to produce it. Like an original, how it came out was not how I intended it. Um, but I was listening to, I was, I'm going to always remember when I did this cover, um, because I had just finished the book. Um, I really wanted to like really like test myself on a piece and everything it is that I had learned working in animation and comics. Right. Um, and so I had just zoned out. I had worked on this. I think I worked on this cover for like maybe like a week and a half, man. I was I was popping Adderall, <laughs> fucking stand up latest shit. And it was two albums I was listening to. I was listening to Davies and I was listening to Tynesha. I don't even know how to pronounce the name. I think it's Tynesha. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was listening to both of those albums and like they were like sonically so different than anything it is that I had heard at the time. And so I was kind of like trying to kind of like, you know, pull that energy from those albums into the art. So it kind of really had this dark t- tone and then once i had put the the color uh schemes together i was like yo i was like this looks very missy s because one of my uh i have very fond memories of when missy came out with her second album the real world yeah and i was in new york at the time i was 15 no 16 was i say 15, 15 i think it was 15 to 16 but i was in new york no adult supervision at all just in new york you know what i'm saying and i was bumping that album so much because i had bought it from sam goody at the time when albums was like 21 dollars, you know for a cd you know because they was taxing and so i was just playing that album so i was like yo it's like it's infused into my head man so i was just pulling so much stuff and i think that was like the final you know piece but yeah, that's just crazy that you noticed that, bro. Like, yo, man, that, that kind of weirds me out, man. That nobody that you just said that, like, yo, man, it's like it reminds me of Missy's cover. I'm like, damn, man. I'm like, somebody actually noticed that shit. Okay, that's dope. 